if I want to create a mirror of a sheet metal part off of one of the faces of the sheet metal part, this is relatively straightforward if I want a merged part that I can flatten. So if I choose the mirror tool, and for example choose this flat face, which is required for a sheet metal part, for example if I try to choose one of these planes, this feature is going to give me an error. So with the mirror tool, I can only mirror the body about a face. or rather a sheet metal body about its own faces. You see this error that I'm getting when I try to select this. So once again if I created a quarter of a part or half of a part and wanted a merged result, this would be fairly useful as I get a whole part or half of a part now and I can even go on to mirror this again across this face. And so like I said, if I had a quarter of a part, I can easily create the whole part merged together. And when I unsuppress the flat pattern, it's going to contain that entire geometry, or it'll contain all the material after the mirrors. But on the other hand, if I want a right-handed or left-handed version of my part, or I need a mirrored version of the part, I have two options that SOLIDWORKS recommends. One is this uncheck merge solids. And with this, you won't get a flat pattern for the mirrored body. But just like weldments or just like any other feature, if you have multiple bodies, you can insert this into a new part and you'll have the mirrored version. You can also use the insert mirrored part. And this is going to create the mirrored part in a new part based on the plane that you selected. And at the bottom of the options for that feature was an option to break a link to the part. So right now you see this in context and if I update the other body this will update as well. And of course I can come in and break this reference if I want. Both of those options are fine if you just want an identical copy. But what if you want to make changes to the mirrored side of that part? What if those are going to be slightly different? Now the options aren't quite as straightforward. Once again, if I mirrored the body over, and I wanted to use sheet metal features, on the new side of the body. This is just a dumb solid. And I can also see that insert bends is grayed out. And if I use convert to sheet metal, this feature is going to fail as it doesn't like the way this was created. So there's one quick workaround for this, and it's to use the Move Copy Bodies option. You can also find this in the Features pull-down in the Insert menu. And so I'm just going to create a copy on top of itself. So now I have two bodies in the same place. I'll go ahead and hide out that edge flange. 
And now not only can I mirror this, but I'm no longer limited by using one of the faces on the side of my sheet metal body. And now I'm going to go ahead and delete out the body move and show that edge flange again. Now you can see without that body present that this insert bends option goes away. But with it there, I should be able to select this body and create a flat pattern. And then I can delete out the body after. And now I have two sheet metal bodies, both of which I can flatten. So for example, if I want to make changes to this side of the part now, I can update the mirrored image of the part without having to go back in and change this part. So this allows me to quickly transition over all that geometry without having to recreate it or without having to work on the opposite side of the part. So if you've ever needed to work on the mirrored side of a sheet metal body, that's the process you would take to set up that workaround to convert this over to a sheet metal body.